<laughs> hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And the big news today is, well, I don't know if this is big news. Is it, did you know that the bikini star is the most dangerous woman in L.A.? Well, no, she's not the most dangerous woman in L.A. She's the most dangerous woman in the world. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, um, they, they've all agreed that Romney, all the polls have now agreed that Romney is in the lead virtually everywhere and that there is disagreement on how, the only disagreement is in how many swing states he now has a lead in. And one guy said, hey, here's one of the experts this morning said, that actually, uh oh, uh oh. But, uh, Herbie Daddy is really smart. Herbie Daddy said to tell you what the experts said, he said, look to see what states that Obama is pulling money out of and what states he's putting money into. If he's putting money into a state and heavily putting money into the state, they need that state and they think they're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. And you're up at, um, Obama is in full attack mode. Well, I mean, okay, here's, um, here's what they said the Obama administration has been told. Your attack ads are driving everybody away from you, including the women, who basically, here's what they said. The women did not like Biden's attitude. They do not like the president's attitude on television. They said that's not the people that they thought they were. He's losing the women. The more he attacks Chicago style, the more votes he's losing. He had, they said, he's already lost a lot of the Afro-American votes because he doesn't believe in family values. He's lost the Latino vote because he doesn't believe in family values. And now he's losing the women's vote because he's turning off young women with his constant attacks on everybody. And Europe advances towards a single banking supervisor. Oh, it's, got, it's not going to work because those countries are not going to give up the control of their banks to somebody in Germany. That they, okay, one of the guys said that we kicked Germany's ass in two, war, two wars. We are not going to turn over our country to them because they, have, because they have a sound banking system of which is starting to go under because Merkel has spent all the country's reserves to prop up other countries. Uh, and this isn't like China, folks. In Europe, they simply just won't pay back the money. Mm -hmm. China basically expects to get its money back in Europe. They're known for just simply saying, well, screw you, you're not going to get the money. And Sandusky accuser forgives uh, the victims for not speaking up sooner. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm going to go, my father was a police officer, a reserve officer in the city of Los Angeles like for four decades. My father said they never completely believed anybody that would come, on, come in about a decade or longer and then charge a person with a crime. Mm -hmm. He said that, that there's something always phony. Well, you know, why didn't they, they said the first talk with the, with the officers, they said in the room, well, why didn't they come forth at that time? Because then we'd have beat the hell out of the SOB. Mm. And, uh, and they said because, uh, that, so basically what happens when they know there's money involved, people come out of the woodwork and they, they're going to get the guy's conviction thrown out because too many people came forth to testify. Too many and then they're, well, I'm not doing this for money. So then he sues the college for like $200 million. Ooh. That tends to damage your credibility. And Massachusetts man with, wins $30 million lottery after losing girlfriend. Yeah, well, the girlfriend wants part of the lottery money now because she bought, he bought the ticket when he was with her and she's now claiming that he owes her half the money. Yeah, great, right, and that. Well, Herbie Daddy, Herbie Daddy said that he's got to lose, the, he'll lose the money too. That's because of women rule in this country. And video, did Obama reset the race? No, they all agreed that Obama actually lost the last debate. Because they said Obama won on style, which because he's cool. But like we were talking a few seconds ago, he turned off the he turned off the women voters. Okay, here was it. Until Obama and Biden started talking, they were leading with women. As soon as they got on and saw how mean and vindictive these two guys were, the women, you know, and then they really pushed it one more. Obama, you know, talking about we have to protect women's reproductive rights. He didn't talk about women and jobs. Guess who, oh, you know, Herbie Daddy said, who talked about jobs and women? It was Mitt Romney talking about how women have lost more jobs than males uh, in the thing and that uh, Obama administration, okay, here's another one from last night. 
they're showing a tape, uh, uh, a thing, a woman coming up and wanting to talk about women's issues. And he said, uh, "No, th well, that comes. That's another time. We're here to talk with the United, uh, with the UAW. Not we'll talk about women's issues at another time." And she said, "But this is a jobs conference." Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy is um, and also he. Oh, oh, he said, he said, women have filed a complaint about how they're paid $11,000 a piece less than the male doing the same job at the White House. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And Obama on communication on Libya attack, not optimal. I know, basically they're pissed off about it. He, he's refused to backtrack this time because he's basically put his foot in it too many times and then they're, they're, everybody has listened to the, okay, the people on the left the extreme left are trying to explain it away. The people that are not on the extreme left want to know, okay, here is like one of his big supporters. Just what in the hell actually happened? We understand you you actually have a videotape of the whole thing. Why can't we see the videotape of, and then you can it will back up everything you have to say. Uh -uh. Well, that tape was inadvertently damaged. <laughs> yeah, which nobody believes. They know that the CIA, okay, here's a good one that most people didn't know. Our government is taping everything that's going on at the embassies now. Um, weren't they doing that before? Not that anybody knew. I mean, I, it's a government okay. building. I always presumed that okay. they were. Here's what happens. You go to have a secret meeting with the people at the embassy that you don't want people to know about, and now you find out that the United States government has been taping everything going on. They know who's coming and going now in, at the embassy, which is not something that a lot of people want. Other, okay, say you're the head of a state, and you don't want the people in your country to know you're conducting secret meetings at, with the United States government at the embassy, and all of a sudden there's tapes available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really cute. Yeah, they're going to be calling out the Privacy Act. Yep. Perversion files show locals helped cover up. That's with the Boy Scouts. First of all, the, okay, the problem is, is the gay rights people are just shooting themselves in the foot. I mean, all of these have to do with gay men attacking non, you know, attacking boys. They're not straight guys attacking boys. There's one instant after another of gay males attacking uh, attacking young boys and basically uh, it really hurts the gay rights movement and they figure you know like one of the guys said where the hell are those people gonna notice their mm -hmm. because it just sets them back we don't want people thinking if you're gay you're gonna attack a boy so they're demanding all this evidence that gay males are attacking boys and Walmart workers threaten Black Friday action oh yeah the uh, uh, SEIU is going to shut down all the Walmarts on on Black Friday in order to force them to become union. Um, all you do is you piss off the people inside that don't want to lose their jobs because Walmart is no longer making the majority of its money in the United States, it's making the majority of its money out of this country and what happens is they can basically say okay bye bye. They're also becoming an online giant like Amazon and others. You no longer are going to have to go to a Walmart to get the things you want except for food and Kodak asked court to end retiring medical benefits. That's the whole reason why Kodak, went, okay, Kodak photo went under, not the Eastman Kodak company. There was two differences. They buried the photo, and by burying the photo, they want to bury the retirement plans of all of the things. Oh, here's another one too this morning. How about this? Democrats are trying to buy out the pension plans of all the retirees so that they can get rid of the pension plans and they're asking the federal government to loan them the money to get what? rid of the pension plans. What? Uh, which means you get money in a lump sum and you tell the people get lost. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. And Romney slams Obama's incredible shrinking campaign. Oh yeah, because he's basically, he's in the name, liar, liar, you know, I didn't know about that. And that's news to me. Basically, he's, he, he's, he's cut back on almost everything that he's been caught on to just a few words now. And he's no longer going to hold press conferences because he can't answer any questions now. And Ryan attends fundraiser with 47% host. I know. And that's something which means, uh, would Obama attend a fundraiser by a guy that says, I'm a 1% host? No. Mm -hmm. But the Republicans are attending fundraisers with the opposition. There and so it's called 
Okay, you know what the difference? Okay, here's Mark Twain. The difference between a Republican and a Democrat is a Republican is always willing to have an open discussion, and a Democrat only wants it, their discussion. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. And getting old means that you know you're out of place, but you still keep trying. Mm -hmm.